a few weeks ago, Spotify Wrapped took place. Spotify Wrapped is the event where Spotify shows its users a summary of what they listened to and how long they listened for on the Spotify app. I did not participate in that because I use Apple Music more. And anyway, today we're not even here for Spotify Wrapped. We're here to go through my rap. The first 2023 rap. A series of events that took place in my life in 2023. I mean, let's wrap it all from the top. We cannot actually go from the top because a few things happened in December that I have not shown you guys. Not much happened in December, but my workplace gave us all Christmas packages. Honestly, I cannot believe my life right now. Like, what do you mean I'm working? What do you mean I'm collecting rice and no, no, no? I mean, I mean. I'm so grateful for that Christmas package because now it's not going to chop for the first six months of the year with that. I'm going to just chop rice and stew, jollof fries, fried rice, concussion rice. You get. We also did the Secret Santa thing in my office. My Secret Santa was my friend and she got me the most gorgeous dress. <laughs> I was honestly surprised because I would never have guessed that she was my secret Santa. I love surprising people and the fact that I was in turn surprised this time was something I really really loved. I also went for the Avesta's Carol show. is my absolute favorite holiday the time spent with family the food the weather and just something in the atmosphere i love it so so much however christmas has not felt exciting in my house or in my family in a while and i honestly don't think that it's going to be exciting till sometime later in the future and that's okay that's fine this christmas so just i and my mom hello boys one of you is about to be sacrificed for the season. Uh, you are the lucky man. Uh, lucky man. Can you come down and die for Jesus? He's going to die for you in a few months. How can you, Ingrid, not die for him now? Oh, <laughs> more. Tell him about Akpao. Come on. So it's not a over.
over the top over the moon kind of christmas or feeling but we ate we had fun it was calm it was cool i was happy and i was content so yes like i said not much happened in december so now i think we can take it from the top going into 2023 i had no plans at all i can't even lie i can't lie i have mad ptsd i mean you guys remember what happened the last time i had plans i started 2022 on a high i was so excited i was so happy my word for the year was ease and abundance my year was the exact opposite of all that nothing came with ease nothing came in abundance everything was tough everything was a struggle it was it was bad and so because of that i just went into 2023 on vibes in january i started my youth service properly i was working in a company and in a department i knew nothing about <laughs> I went for a Valentine's kind of concert, so Chiki's concert. I went to my girl Yinka. I was not here back on YouTube, so I was not vlogging. <laughs> concert if you think that you meet your favorite artist or any artist at all and you will not be starstruck i'm here to tell you that you're a liar i love chiki but it's not even top of the artist that i think that i would have been so excited to see but i was still so starstruck i mean i was just so happy to be there january to april nothing significant happened i was just settling into lagos life doing my youth service i was thinking of how to navigate my career moving forward because i was working in a very good place and i wanted to make good use of that opportunity <laughs> of the year were probably 
probably the best part of the year for me i mean i was just cruising through life but i'm not somebody that lives life like that i need things i need goals to look forward to hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> so in may i came back to youtube after almost 11 months of being away um i just finished filming a video and it did not go well looks like i have to film it again and i'm just so tired and annoyed hello boys and girls hello everybody it's Tiffa this way and you're welcome back to my channel i was so nervous i'm not going to lie i was so so nervous because it's been so long and i did not know how the reception was going to be but guys it was so good thank you so so much i really appreciate it. thank you may was a lot of work i was working on youtube working in my ppa and it was just a lot i needed an escape i was so tired i beg i was just so, i needed i needed to escape june was the last time I saw most of my friends. Guys, I hate what adulthood has done to us, to me. Because a lot of my friends are far away. Like we're far away from each other. And even the people that are near, everybody is just so busy with work and school. And I miss them so much. Like I understand that um, it's going to get to a point where I have to accept that things are not going to be how they used to be. But I don't want to accept. No, I don't want to accept that I will not be in constant communication with my friends. I don't want to accept. I miss them so much and it's just so, so sad. I said it that I like it when people watch me on a big screen. And if you are my friends, make sure that they watch me on a big screen and send me snaps and pictures of them watching me. And that was so, so sweet and thoughtful. Tell me that they don't love me. Tell me. And I love them so, so much. Even with the distance and the busy schedule, the people that I call friends have constantly been there for me i cannot count the number of times that my friends came through for me they are constantly supporting me constantly being there for me i'm so grateful again for the gift of friendship i had a dream i got everything i wanted july and august were probably the toughest months in the year for me i mean i was working so hard on a lot of things on multiple things and i was trying to balance everything but who am I? I'm just one person. I'm actually just one person. I got burnt out. I was so burnt out. The most terrible thing was that I just felt like there was no reward for all the work that I was doing. I, I did not see the point of all the hard work that I was putting in. I did not feel like there was any need for me to be working that hard. I'd, I was just so tired. I'm exhausted. I don't have a life of my own. I don't I don't chill. I don't distress. I just walking and walking and walking and walking and I'm just so tired. I was feeling very miserable and sad. In 2023, I sacrificed a lot of my personal time. Like I was just constantly working. I did not do a lot of my hobbies or things that I like to do. But in September, I especially tried to do a few of the things that I like to do. I mean, I crocheted, I went to an art exhibition, I read. I'm speaking about books. So, I got books. I got these books for like 12k or so. can't remember. During Black Friday. Yep. I've always liked reading. Like, reading has been a hobby of mine as far back as primary school. I got into uni and I did not read as much. I think that all my hobbies just flew out of the window when I got to uni. Like, in between strike and covid and all you rushing us there was no time for obvious anyways i got books for my 22nd birthday last year and that kind of kick started my reading i read four books last year um like starting from november i read chimekas garage a broker's people's playlist tomorrow died yesterday i read inka where is your husband and i read um the secret life of baba shegi's wife let's start with a broken people's playlist that's probably like my favorite book to now i don't know maybe because it was the first book i read maybe because of the place that i was in my life when i read that book but that book has a special place in my heart Chimeka garrix is probably my favorite author for now like if i hear that he has released a book i'm going to go and get it straight up tomorrow that yesterday is another book that i love so so much love it 9 over 10 9.5 over 10 2023 i read 11 books purple ibis course nearly all the men in lagos are mad
chasing red always red i'm reading chasing red again because i heard that there's going to be a movie for it and i cannot remember what happened so i'm reading it again if you were a part girly or boy you probably read chasing red so go and read it again yes my favorite book this year will probably be ongoing by Ya Gyasi. How many books did you read in 2023 and which one is your favorite? Please, please tell me in the comments. I review the books that I read on Instagram, so you should probably follow me on Instagram. In October, I passed out of the NYSC scheme. Yo, bag your shit, tell me she don't like me. She's an animal, she just wanna bite me. She don't even wanna hear me, she don't text me. Yeah, because I got enough on a Nike. All the niggas that okay, like me try to okay. imitate me. Try to shoot at me, but they can never take me. I think you're also so crazy to think about it that I did my service here in 2023. It seems so far away, like I, I've done it like three years ago. I don't know why. But anyways, NYC was really, really good. So apart from the occasional fingerprint machine not identifying my fingerprint and me having to stay for long, the unnecessary CDS, NYC went really well. I did not have any issue. And for that, I'm so, so grateful to God. In November, I started working Pearl Pal. My PPA retained me. I got a job and I started working as a product designer. <laughs> What a year it has been, what an amazing year it has been. In 2023, I did the best that I could with what I had, even when I didn't have much. I was a financing thing and I had no prior knowledge in finance. And I did that. I had no prior knowledge in product design and I'm currently doing that. I had no good phone or a, good, a phone with a good battery or storage space. And time and time again, I still try to make videos. I mean, well done to me. <laughs> Well done to me. Well done to me. I'm also so grateful for the people that I worked with in my former department. Uh, I've always known that I can do anything if I put my mind to it. But they really affirmed that. Because even after I left the department, they kept telling me how much value I brought to the department, how much of an asset I was to the department. And I'm a, I don't take it for granted. I'm actually so grateful that they told me those things. Because it did well for my self-confidence. And I really hope and pray that... I'm able to do so much better in this new role that I'm in because this is where I really, really want to be. In theory, it may seem like I did not do so much in 2023, but I actually did so much. Um, Abacock 2 verse 3 literally sums up my entire thoughts. A sentence that I constantly said to myself in 2023 was slowly but surely. I don't even know where it came from, but I just kept telling myself slowly but surely. Um, I did a lot of foundational work this year in my career in YouTube and it might seem like I didn't do anything but it goes on the show sooner or later it will begin to show the most significant thing that happened um, to me in 2023 happened here like the way I process things the way I react to things the way I think about things is changing has changed and I am so amazed by that Again, what an amazing year it has been. Everybody is going into 2024 with such a positive mindset. And I love it for everybody. However, for me, I don't know if I'm to be excited. I'm just so afraid of making plans and making goals and getting disappointed. So I really do not know. But I want to be audacious. I want to do it afraid. I'm always doing it afraid anyway, so let's go one more time. It's gonna take a bit of work. Oh, work. I don't know how to make mood boards, but I have a few things that I would like to do in 2024. First, I want to improve my personal relationship with God. Because at the point, you just realize that if you're not working with God, there really is no point to life. Two, I want to journal more. I mean... I am always writing, to-do list, what, to, what I want to get to do at work, my creative process, YouTube this. My notes app is probably my most used app and I, I need to free that guy. I want to journal in a more structured way. My only fear is that I'm going to write too much because I like to be extensive in whatever I do. But I mean, who cares? It is my journal. Uh, three, I am a beauty girl. I love makeup, um, skincare. And especially fashion and i've always wanted to do something around fashion on instagram and i never get to it because i was not ready and i'm still not ready but i mean 
we are never ready no one is ever ready and if we wait till we are ready you are going to wait forever so i'm going to get to do something about fashion i want to make better videos i want to tell better stories um i did mainly vlogs this year and at the point i just realized that we all live very mundane and ordinary lives and i was just wondering what was the point of me showing you my ordinary life i mean vlogs were not the plan when i started this channel i was just doing it for the meantime and i may or may not continue them in 2024 we'll see how it goes um, the point is that I'm discovering new things about myself every day, discovering new ways to express my art, and you see that in 2024, we were supposed to eat a thousand subscribers in 2023, and we did not, and that's fine. We went from 609, when I came back in May, we were on 609, and we went from that to 812. That is like over 200 people, 200! I am so grateful i'm so so grateful for that in 2024 though we need to eat that 1k and probably surpass it but i cannot do it by myself i need your help so please like my video let youtube know that oh people like this channel so they will recommend me to other people also subscribe if you are not yet subscribed watch my videos and um, share it with your friends comment you guys need to do a better job at commenting because this is a conversation i mean i'm talking to you you need to comment back i like it when people comment so i'm able to respond back to you it looks like we are talking so please comment on my videos i'm actually just so grateful that you are here with me i'm actually just so grateful that i'm able to do this with you thank you so much for watching my videos thank you so much for indulging my love of making videos i'm so so grateful i love you thank you so much 2024 does not necessarily need to be a new chapter or a new page or a fresh start it can be if you want it to be but it can also just be another day no pressure either way it's just take it one day at a time it's easier that way.